Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today I am going to tell you about my June TBR. I am taking part in a month long readathon and then two weekly readathons throughout the month as well. Um, so the readathons I'm taking part in are Game of Thrones a thon. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. I'll leave every all the information down below for each of the readathons so you can go check them out if you want to get involved. Um, so yeah, the Game of Thrones readathon and then I've got Buzzword a thon and I've also got Romance a thon. So I'll go through them one by one, let you know the books that I'm reading and the prompts, etc. And um, you can let me know whether or not you've read the books, um, what you thought of them, any I should make priority, etc. So to start off with, I've got a Game of Thrones, which is first in a series. So I have picked Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is the first in series, Wayward Son comes out at the end, towards the end of this year. I'm very, very excited about this, actually. I read Fangirl earlier on this year and I absolutely loved it. And I've been so excited about then moving on to Carry On. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I only just noticed this little thing in here. What is it? Oh, it's got a little map in here oh that's pretty okay sorry distractions so yeah uh carry on by rainbow ralph fist in a series the next book on the the next sorry prompt is house targaryen which is mythical creatures slash dragons so i'm going for clockwork angel by cassie claire this hasn't got dragon well i don't think it's got dragons in it could have you just never know in the shadow hunter universe um this will obviously have vampire it's got downworlders in it so it's got vampires werewolves pick uh Pixies, fairies, oh my god, pixies, fairies, um, demons, warlocks, etc. It's got all sorts in it, maybe an angel, we'll see. So, um, mythical creatures, that counts. Uh, next is Daenerys, strong female character. I'm going for Photos of You by Tammy Robinson. This is following a girl who's just turned 28 she's a silver but it's going to be her last birthday she's got terminal cancer but she's always wanted to get married so she oh, but she's single so i'm not sure how this works out whether she just marries herself or whether she finds somebody and marries him um but she has a wedding and obviously anybody that's turning that's just turned 28 has found out they've got terminal cancer and the first thing they want to do is arrange themselves a wedding in my eyes is a strong female woman well even if you're a male strong person you are a strong person so strong female character she's going down in history books in my in my eyes <laughs> um westeros fictional place i'm going for jurassic park by michael crichton i think that's how you pronounce it this is on my 30 30 tbr and obviously jurassic park is not a real place i like to think it's not a real place anyway bloody hope it's not uh, house tyrell plant art green on the cover i'm hoping that doesn't mean an actual green cover but i'm taking this to mean what i think it means so uh, this is green this plane and the little heart thing is green so i'm going for the bride test by helen huang i think that's how you pronounce it this comes out on the 6th of june it is an arc so you will notice there's a lot of arcs on this tbr this month that i'm just trying to get read they're coming out this month or i've missed the date and i'm just trying to read them and get through them and then review them so the bride test um how stark family dynamics are siblings i'm going to go for the secret runners of new york by matthew riley i picked this up while i was in um waterstones the other day i'm very excited about it i've only heard this by one person i can't remember whether it was um cody or lala can't remember now it could have even been someone else completely different but i'm excited about the premise and it's got twins in it boy and girl twin so siblings that counts uh next is house lannister red on the cover so i'm going for girl in the red the girl, the girl in red by christina henry this is a red riding hood retelling i believe a very very dark one christina henry's retellings tend to be quite dark haven't read any of her stuff before but uh, cody's been going on about it a lot recently she read um what did she read she read alice in wonderland retelling two different one after the other um by christina henry so i'm very excited about this really looking forward to it and can't wait to get to it this comes out on the 5th of june so it's another arc uh house greyjoys pirates are set at sea which i struggle with this because i don't have many books set at sea or have pirates in because it's not usually something i read so um i've decided to have a good gander at my bookshelves and i'm gonna go for sea fire by natalie c parker haven't read this yet i believe it's on script so i'm looking forward to it this is following a 
um, a woman who is the captain of an all-female ship. So it's set at sea. It's got an all-female crew. I'm excited about it. It's also been compared to Wonder Woman and Mad Max Fury Road, which I love both of those films heavily. Um, so I'm very excited about this. Really looking forward to it. Hope it's very, very good. Next prompt. There are 11 prompts, by the way, for this Game of Thrones readathon. Next prompt, House Baratheon, King or Queen slash Royalty. So this is not, for me, King or Queen, like Queen Victoria or King Arthur, etc., um because there is a book that would have been perfect for that but i read it this month um so um i have decided to go for queen of air and darkness it's got the word queen in it do with that as you will um by cassandra clare which is the last book in the dark artifices series i have not read this yet i've been meaning to since i got it in feb um and got it signed by cassie in feb and i'm very excited to finally get to this i do have it on audible it's been on my tbr a couple of times already this year um since i got it but i've just not gotten around to it and i'm not sure why i'm not heavy on my fantasy at the moment maybe that's it so um i'm heavy on romance and contemporary sorry i'm just i know i'm not looking at the camera at all which is completely rude but there's some gorgeous sketches in here and i'm just trying to find one for you which i'm failing at miserably there we go so beautiful um so yes very excited to get to this and finally uh read it then A Clash of Kings, which is a sequel, so I'm going to go for Hair of Fire by Sarah J Maas. This is the third in the Throne of Glass series. I have started it, I'm only 19 pages in, but I'm going to start again because I don't remember for the life of me what happened. I read that about three months ago. So I've been meaning to read this for several months now. This keeps appearing on my TBR since I finished the last one, uh, which is Crown of Midnight. And um, I've got it on audio. I don't know why I'm making it so difficult for myself. I should just listen to it. But like I say, I've not been ha I've not been heavy on my fantasy recently, and it's been a bit of a struggle for me. So maybe that's why I keep putting it off. And then finally, we've got Wildings, which is a paranormal book. So I'm going to go for The Silver Queen by Josie Jaffrey. This is the second book in the Sovereign series. This is also signed, personalised, and uh, I'm very excited to give this a read. This has got vampires and zombies in it. At they don't call them zombies but it, unless you read the book you won't know what i'm talking about so um they are paranormal as far as i'm concerned so uh yeah very excited about this one as well so that is my game of thrones tbr and then there is buzzwordathon which is taking part on the tw between the tw well from the 12th to the 18th which i believe is wednesday to tuesday i'm not sure maybe is it wednesday to wednesday can't even remember but it's midweek to midweek I believe so this is being hosted by kayla at books on lala again i'll leave a link down below so you can check it out but the buzzword for this round is you the word you so you can use you you'll your you've i don't know what the variations of you there are so i have taken all of the books off my shelves that i haven't already read that have the word you you'll you've your I think I have anyway and put them in a pile and there is three that I really really want to get to and then there's another two that I have as well um that would be nice to get to but if I don't I'm not mad about it so the three that I really want to get to are if you could go anywhere by page tune I am meeting page tune this week I'm very very excited about it and um I haven't read this yet which is her latest book I probably should have done since I'm going meeting her but I've just not had the time so I'm looking forward to giving this a read. Obviously, it's got the word you in it. Then there's Here's Looking at You by Vahira McFarlane. Again, I'm meeting Vahira this uh, week, same time as I'm meeting Paige. And this is not her latest book. I have read her latest book. It does have the word you in it, but I've already read it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give this one a read instead because I really loved her writing. Picked this up from the charity shop the other week after I read Don't You Forget About Me, which is her latest book. So yeah looking forward to giving this a read and then i've got ps i love you by cecilia hearn this is on the 30 for 30 t tbr now so i really want to get to this as well very very excited about it cannot wait to give it a read and then the other two books that i have are um you're the one that i want by giovanni fletcher never read anything from giovanni before but i do have the eve of man on my tbr which is by tom and giovanni so um i would like to get to that at some point so it'd be nice to read something by her and just get myself in the mood for it um and then i've also got the year i met you again by celia hearn haven't read anything from by her before so i've got two of her books on my tbr for this month <laughs> possibly if i get to them um so that's my buzzword on tbr and then for romance -a -thon, which is running from the 17th to the 23rd of 
June, which obviously overruns Buzzword of Fun by two days. Um, it is being hosted by Gabby Reed. There are prompts for this. So there is a buddy read, which is on the island, which I'm not going to take part in because I don't have the book. And I don't know, honestly, I'm not particularly interested by it. Um, and then there is Forbidden Romance. So I'm going to read Red, White and Royal Blue. I'll show a picture here because I don't have the book. But I am going to listen to it on script because it's on there, which is exciting because I've been wanting to read this for the longest time. It's been on my TBR on, on Amazon for ages now. So uh, not on my TBR, on my wish list on Amazon even for ages. Uh, new Adult Romance. I'm going to go for 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. This is a library book that I picked up ages ago and I've just not had a chance to read it yet. So this is a perfect opportunity to do so. just love how fluffy this book up book is amazing the smallest things uh pink on the cover a crossover with here's looking at you so on those two days where there is the crossover between buzzwordathon and um romanceathon i will read here's looking at you because it's got the word you in it and it's got pink on the cover yay um released in 2019 i'm going to go for the bookshop on the show by jenny colgan this comes out on the 13th let me just, just double check that 13th of june in hardback so i'm very excited about this by the time i read this for romanceathon though it will have already come out but it's 2019 release and i'm looking forward to it man on the cover so i'm going to go for carry on by rainbow row this has got uh both simon and baz on the front cover i'm not sure which one's which to be perfectly honest i think that's baz and that's sam because he's got a wand um, so yeah I'm looking forward to giving this a read it does say on the back carry on is a ghost story a love story and a mystery so it's got romance in it so it counts but it's got men on the cover which is even more counting that made sense LGBT romance I'm going for birthday by Meredith Russo I picked this up from Waterstones the other day and I'm very excited about giving this a read how gorgeous is this sprayed edge though so pretty the rest is just pain plain pain Playing. but yeah very excited about this i've managed to pick this up pretty early as well so i picked this up the other days the other day it doesn't come out till the 30th of may which is exciting and then the last prompt is to read seven romance books so i have for the actual readathon i've got one two three four five there is one missing oh six red white and royal blue <laughs> counting hard um, so just add PS I love you to make it seven but there is more than that on the romance side for my books for the month anyway because obviously um, photos of you is going to have romance in it the bride test is going to have romance in it so um, yeah there's going to be romance all over the place this month which I'm quite excited about with a little bit of fantasy so I'm quite happy with my TBI for the month of June I'm really looking forward to all of the books that I'm going to read this month and if you are getting involved with any of these readathons, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm really interested in seeing what your TBRs are and seeing what other books I possibly could have read that are already on my shelves. <laughs> um, I hope you get involved with some of these. Um, like I say, please do let me know if you are. If you've read any of these and you think I should make some priority above others, please let me know. Um, they're all going to get read either way. Um, but um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, Please give it a like down below, I'd really appreciate it. And I shall see you next time. Bye for now.